evaluate the value of the unknown variable in the equation. Let's start by substituting in our known variable so that it's easier to solve for our unknown variable. Anywhere we see an r, we can substitute in 5 instead. And now we can begin to isolate L. We cannot touch this entire fraction until it is the only thing on its side of the equal sign. So let's start by moving 5 6. 5 6 is being added to the L, so we can subtract 5 6 as the opposite operation to move it around. That leaves us with L over 5 equals 6 fifths minus 5 6. Here we're going to need to simplify and get common denominators. In this case, let's just multiply the denominators by each other, and that will help us get to our common denominator a bit faster. L over 5 equals 6 times 6 will give us 36 over 30, minus 5 times 5 is 25 over 30. 36 minus 25 will give us 11. L over 5 equals 11 over 30. Now we can work to isolate L. L is being divided by 5, so we can multiply both sides by 5 to get rid of this 5, isolating L and giving us 30. 5 can go into 30 6 times. So we can simplify all of this down to 11 times 1 would be 11 over 6 times 1 would give us 6. And now as the final step, we just need to simplify this fraction. 6 can go into 11 one time with 5 left over, making D our correct answer.